because as we've been very clear, it may well be that we want to have other conversations with other countries. Okay, which other countries are you thinking uh, of but, having but, a conversation with? But again, with uh, it, it, you know, I think we probably just have a different point of view on this. I think no, no, Prime I, Minister. Can I be clear? I chair the Public Accounts Committee, a constitutional committee of over 160 years standing, cross party with five parties on it. Uh, but I think it's interesting you've suggested the government is in conversation with third countries. I, I, I didn't say that it was. I, I said that if it was, that would clearly be a reason that it would want to make sure it had the ability to conduct those conversations in private. Now, is that the look of a liar? Now, that was my first thoughts when I saw that look. But anyway, now after he got a kicking from Alicia Cairns and Dame Diana Johnson, he really got no respite from the very impressive Labour MP and Chair of the Public Accounts Committee, Dame Meg Hellier, about his wonderful flagship Rwanda plan. Um, but you talked about disclosing the cost of the Rwanda project, Prime Minister, and we've been, you have repeated the line that it must be disclosed on an annual basis. It is perfectly normal and within the normal accounting rules and to, in terms of reporting to the Public Accounts Committee and the Departmental Committees, in this case the Home Affairs Select Committee, to report on projects on a different basis, especially something that's a flagship, this is a flagship policy of yours, Prime Minister. So pr producing information in the annual accounts, which is 15 months after the last £100 million payment was made to Rwanda, is not acceptable. What, what is the problem about just being open and honest about something you signed off as Chancellor that you're now championing as Prime Minister that's a five-year programme? What's the secrecy? Uh, because, as we've been very clear, it may well be that we want to have other conversations with other countries. Okay, which other countries are you thinking uh, of but, having but, a conversation with? But again, with uh, it, it wouldn't be right to talk about these things if we're having private conversations with countries about potential alternatives uh, to add to our Rwanda policy. So, sorry, we've always been clear that that is something that the government would like to Prime Minister, I think, I mean, well, I've been on the Public Accounts Committee now for 13, uh, for 12 years, and... Um, I'm aware of lots of things that are talked about as being commercially confidential, and when we ask to see the papers, they're not at all. I cannot see, nor can other members of my committee, what is commercially confidential about this that will still, will won't be commercially confidential when the accounts are produced. There, is not, there isn't an arbitrary timeline when something stops being commercially confidential and then does, uh, and then and is no longer confidential. There is no reason to have a 15-month delay between payments being made. The only reason this money was, re was revealed was because somebody in Rwanda possibly inadvertently, we don't know, there's an inquiry going on, released it to the International Monetary Fund, which itself is instructive, is it not? You know, I think we probably just have a different point of view on this. I think... No, no, Prime Minister, can I be clear? I chair the Public Accounts Committee, a constitutional committee of over 160 years standing, cross-party with five parties on it. I'm not playing a party political point. This is a public accounting so point. I, You've been a, you have been a, a, a renowned Chancellor of this checker, took us through COVID. I think you understand those rules very clearly. So can we just be really clear? Why are you not sharing with Parliament and the public the money being spent on the Rwanda scheme? It's a five-year project. You signed it off as Chancellor. You must have been content then, despite you now having to pass legislation to operization, operalization it. Why did you not think about asking those questions then? You must have been asking those questions. Why can't you share that money with the money with us? Again, I, there's a balance to be struck. There is annual transparency of these numbers to Parliament. I Sorry, think that strikes Prime the Minister, balance. they are. This is, it is, no, it is not the normal transparency, you, Prime Minister, that is provided on other big projects, like, for example, High Speed 2, Take 1. I could give you many other examples. We were receiving six monthly reports laid to Parliament. That is the normal approach, and it is normal to negotiate this with the Public Accounts Committee on a, on a routine basis. We do that regularly with other departments. Why, and you know, this is it's a flagship policy of yours. What, what is there to hide? I there should be nothing I mean, to hide. The scale of HS two compared to this, obviously just by order of magnitude, very different. I mean, phase oh, one so it's about the scale of the project. Is, that's, is, I that's mean, it, again, all these things will be, there's an appropriate balance. I mean, HS2 was the single biggest project that the government is undertaking. You know, the cost for phase one, which you'll be aware of, well north of 40 uh, Okay, million well, I, I just make the, well, I make the that, final that, observation. That's very, that HS, very different. The and HS2 six-monthly reporting was because the counting officer agreed with the Public Accounts Committee on a method and, and a frequency of reporting, and that is the normal thing that we often negotiate with departments. So I hope you could give some some sucker to the Home Office that if they do similarly, they will have your full backing. Thank you. Maybe there will be some correspondence about this matter. Uh, but I think it's interesting you've suggested the government is in conversation with third countries. I, I, I didn't say that it was. I, I said that if it was, that would clearly be a reason that it would want to make sure it had the ability to conduct those conversations in private. For me, if you're not having conversations with other third countries, so to say, then why say it? Now, I get the feeling that they have had conversations with other third countries, and they told us 
where to go personally. Now, if I'm wrong, please let me know. But that look spoke of someone for me who is lying through his teeth to try and conceal the real cost of this utter nonsense. I just also get the feeling that he just said the first thing that came into his head. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below and I shall bid you farewell and take care, my friends.